What's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to look at the Logitech G29 wheel settings for F1 2021. This will work for G920 and 923 as well. I'm just sharing my settings with y'all. Also I want to show my mapped MFT shortcuts that may be helpful for you. Go to settings and you can see a tab called controls, vibration and force feedback. Select that. Then you can see your Logitech G29 wheel is already recognized and calibrated by the game itself. But this is the default profile, so if you want to change anything in this, you have to create a new profile. I'll just open my editor profile and show you my settings. Yes, it's called G29 Edit. And here we go. You have to select that and click on Edit or Select Edit. In there, first we'll look at calibration, so you can select that. And I have only changed two settings as you can see, throttle linearity and brake saturation. This throttle linearity really helps when the race starts, especially if you have turned the traction control off. And if your race starts are tricky, you can change that and get the best out of it. And the other thing is the brake saturation. This will really help you not to lock up your wheels, but this is only applicable if you are not using brake assist and ABS. If you are using any of those two assets, you don't have to change that. Keep it zero. And you can change this to 10 as well. 8 works perfectly for me. So I just adjust it as your preference. That's all you have to change here. And if you go to vibration and force feedback, this setup works really well for me. This should be changed as your preference. How should the wheel feel? It's your choice. These are just my settings, but you can change anything here. But this setup feels really good for myself, so it's totally up to you. So if we check the buttons that I have changed from default, to look back, I'm using this L3 button. And for DRS, I'm using this X button. And for the pit limiter, I'm using this L2, as you can see here. And let's uh, move further down. These are kept default because it works. And for push to talk, I'm using this uh, big button. And to overtake, I'm using this R3. And if you move further down, you can see my MFD shortcuts. And to increase and decrease fuel, I'm using these plus and minus buttons. It works really well. And to change brake bias, I'm using this round button that you could turn clockwise and anti-clockwise. So that's it. That's Those are my settings. And that's it for today. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please comment below. And I will always help you guys. And thanks again and see you in the next one.